All right, guys, I'm going to do a little experiment today. I'm going to show you the difference between two LED light bulbs. This is a normal, I guess it's around 5,500K. And uh, the CRI rating is like 85 maybe. And if you look at the colors of the fish, don't go by the brightness of the tank. So I'm going to try to adjust that because one, this bulb is brighter than the other one. It puts out more lumen, so I'm going to have to adjust that before I switch it. But this is what they look like if you look at the oranges in the fish. That's what they look like under this light bulb. And this isn't the one that I always show my fish under. And I always tell everybody the lighting's the most important thing. It has nothing to do with the clarity of the water or the colors of the fish. So you can see all the fish kind of look, uh, to me, blah looking. <laughs> and all the other colors are inaccurate. Now when I go to this next bulb, or LED light instead of being 85 CRI like this one it's 98 it's way more accurate 98 meaning it's 98 percent of what like duplicating the sunlight which is very close this is way off this bulb being that it's 85 so if you had a bunch of colors they would look all off looking but let me see if I can get the fish to the front so you could see them Like I said, they kind of look blah looking. I'm going to have to adjust this, so give me a second. I'll put the other light on. So, let's shut this one off. Okay. Now, I want to adjust this accordingly. Now, here's what it looks like under this light. This is what I normally use. fish ain't cooperating. Come here. You can see they look much more colorful. Actually the whole thing does. To me anyway. The gravel looks like you can see different colors in it. And this is a different temperature. I believe this is 65k I believe. Maybe 6k. So it's a little cooler but that's not what I'm talking about here. Whether it's a, a cooler temperature, the bulb, or a warmer temperature, the colors should be more accurate to the sun. So in other words, the first bulb, being that it's warmer, should look like, probably like if you were outside at noontime where the sun kind of looks a little yellowy looking. That's what the other bulb should look like, but the colors should still be accurate. This one 6K or 6500K. So it's mimicking more like, geez, how could I explain it? More like on a cloudy day where the sun ain't direct. But the colors are, should still be accurate. And with this bulb, they are. Let me see if I get the fish to the front so you can see them. And I'll go back to the other bulb. You can see the oranges on these fish. The whites. Alright, let me go back to the other bulb so you can see it again. Come here. You see the orange and white. Now let me go back. Let me just shut this off for a second. Okay. Now I'm going to have to lower this on my camera because it's a brighter bulb that has more output okay that seems about right let me put the bulb back on and that's that bulb and actually this one still looks brighter even though I'm lowering it. Let me see what it's saying here. Actually it is. So let me lower it more. It's a way brighter bulb. Even at that it looks brighter. 
But you can see, look at the oranges and the colors. They kind of faded out. Come here. I'm talking to my fish now. <laughs> All right. Well, you can see the difference in the color. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. To me, there's nothing like having a high CRI rated LED light. I can't explain it to you. I don't know if you're going to see it on film, but in person, all the colors look more accurate. Like, if I had these fish outside in the sun, they wouldn't look like they're looking right now. They'd look more like the other light would look on like a cloudy day is what i'm saying because it's a different color temperature but it's way more accurate they use the other bulb for like matching colors for like printing photography artist work they use it to like to simulate sun so if you're painting a painting indoors under say this light and you'd make a nice painting then when you go to an art gallery and it's outdoors or they have the sun shining and they're, or they're using real good lighting all the colors would be off whereas if you're using the other bulb that i had they'll be more accurate and match like you could paint indoors and then when you bring it outdoors it'll look the same the painting because it was more accurate the light that's what I'm trying to get at. So I always use the other one. And let me go back to it again so you can see that one one more time. Give me a second. Turn that off. Okay. Get this here. Let me see what it's rated at on my camera. This is actually still darker. It's saying it should be brighter. That's kind of bright, but you get the idea. Let me get the fish to follow. Of course, they don't want to go. Buggers. We're over here. You got you pay these fish to model for you, and look what they do. <laughs> But you can see it looks much different. But anyway, guys, I wanted to share that with you. I think uh, accurate LED lights are, for me anyway, a must. If you want your fish to look the way they did. Especially if you have a coral reef and you want to see all the different corals, the different colors and stuff. With the other bulb, you're not going to see it. With this, you are going to. Anyway, guys, I just thought you'd like it. Let me know what you guys think.